Now, the governor of the Bank of England, Sir Mervyn King, gave what's known as a Badgeot lecture after Badgeot, who wrote Lombard Street about central banking. I think it was his 2010 lecture. And he said, of all the many ways of organising banking, the worst is the one we have today. And that is quite something for the governor of any central bank to say, but that is what he said. So just to touch on, this is expanding on what Detlef has said, what are then the ways we organise banking? Well, fiat money, paper money, not redeemable in anything, and that's what Detlef has majored on. Central banking. If we were talking about price controls of bread or tractors, we, if anybody came along and said, let's control the quantity and price of tractors, you'd spot immediately we were living in a communist society. If somebody said tractor production is up, let's have a press release, it'd be mad. If every month we waited to see what price and supply of bread was going to be announced, we'd all think it was absurd and reject it. But somehow, we have this committee of wise men who every so often announce the price and, and, and supply of money, and we all sit around applauding and commentating on it without, without saying how absurd it is. In, in, in truth, one of the things that's fundamentally wrong with our society and led us to this position is a secret hidden in plain sight, and that is we rely on a socialist system of money and banking centrally planned by a committee of wise men, a system, system better suited to Soviet-style communism than it is to a free market. Um, you may have noticed you've got a candid politician, because there are at least two cameras around. <laughs> um, so, so that's uh, the central banking. Fractional reserve deposit taking, people, there's a furious disagreement even in our own school about whether it is legitimate to have, even if money was gold, whether it's legitimate to have 10 gold coins but issue 100 claims on those 10 coins. Um, some people say yes, others say no, it's a fraud. I won't get into all of that, but that is one feature. Taxpayer funded deposit insurance means that, in the end, the, the, tax, the, the taxpayer's picking up the bill, the depositor doesn't have to worry about it. As a depositor, you can put up to whatever the figure is now, 80 or thousand pounds, in the bank without worrying about the bank's sovereignty, because you believe that everybody else will be taxed to give you your money back if the bank fails. I'm not, I've got, not, I've got nothing, there's nothing wrong with deposit insurance, provided the costs are actually <coughs> taken into account by the people uh, taking the decisions, rather than the, the feature being assumed by everyone involved. And finally, limited liability. Nobody involved with the banking system really stands to lose in any significant way. They share in the upside, but not the downside. It's a principal agent problem. It's something I, I, I tried to deal with in a private member's bill. But because directors are not responsible for losses in firms, and because shareholders aren't either, because depositors don't stand to lose because of deposit insurance, you've got this incredible system, centrally planned, with banks able to lend money into existence at interest, and nobody really takes the losses, except the poor old taxpayer. It's absolutely mad. So those are the key features of the banking system, which together make up what Mervyn King said, not me, Mervyn King said, was the worst of all the many ways of organising banking. Fiat, Mervyn King didn't enumerate them in quite this way, but you should read his speech. But from my point of view, they're fiat money, central banking, fractional reserve deposit taking, taxpayer funded deposit insurance, <coughs> and limited liability. Taken together, in combination, their effect on each other is terribly destructive and has led us to this. One of the things we could change is the nature of money itself and to have gold, but there are other ways of attacking the monetary system. We talked about the nature of money at different times. Steve's absolutely right to say it's sent controlled by the central bank. Just to make sure you picked up what Dedlev said, that the banks lend money into existence. There's a wonderful book actually produced by some people on the left, but it's te technically accurate, called Where Does Money Come From? And it explains the broken link in the system between what the central banks do and the way that banks lend. But basically, it's a, 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 it's, it's a truth so shocking the mind is repelled from it that the banks lend money into existence at interest. I do wish that I was able to do that. <coughs>